Well, Doctor, what effect are the sit-ins having on the progress of the Southern Negro and his struggle for equality? Well, I think a tremendous effect. I am convinced that uh, when the history books are written in future years, historians will have to record this movement as one of the greatest epics of our heritage. Uh, I think the movement uh, represents struggle on the highest level of dignity and discipline. Uh, no one of goodwill can disagree with the ends of the sit-in movement, the end to break down all barriers between people on the basis of race or color. Uh, but the thing that impresses me about the movement is... Uh, the fact that they have followed means that grow out of the highest tradition of uh, nonviolence and uh, peaceful uh, methods. And I think this is the thing that uh, makes this movement unique and makes it one of the most uh, significant developments in the whole racial struggle. I think uh, also that one of the interesting things about the movement is that it's not only a lofty movement based on proper means and proper ends, but uh, it is achieving something concrete. And so as a result of the sit-in movement, more than 112 cities have desegregated their lunch counters in the border and southern states. Therefore, we see tangible gains as a result of this uh, very impressive and magnificent movement that has engulfed our Southland and electrified not only our nation but the whole world.